Okay, and welcome to uh, this one of the fish tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to look through morph shapes. Uh, what we're going to do is use them to animate both the fins and the mouth as well. It's going to be quite simple morph shapes, but um, it'll add a lot to the animation nonetheless. So we've got the piranha that we've been working on in class. I've just added a few more things, uh, messed about a bit more with the shape and tweaked it a little bit more. But basically, that's as we've uh, done within the sessions themselves. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, well first of all, let's click Turbo Smooth Off. To create morph shapes, you actually start from the initial shape itself, so the initial mesh. And one of the main things is that you don't actually, you can change the vertices on the original mesh uh, when you make a copy of it for a morph shape. But you shouldn't add more geometry to the shape, so you shouldn't do things like extrudes or uh, kind of cutting edge loops, um, things like that got to keep the same amount of polygons, the same amount of vertices, basically. You should also never be in symmetry mode, you should uh, always have your object flattened or your mesh flattened before you go into morph shapes because that can cause problems as well. So what I'm going to do is just shift drag on the x-axis, this piranha, let's drag this a little bit away and let's just call this fish fin move. So what we're going to do with this is actually start editing some of the points on the fins themselves. Now remember we're going to be working on both sides of this now so uh, a lot of it we're going to do with uh, moves and just with the selecting uniform scale. So what I'm going to do is go down to Edible Poly and let's just start moving some of these points around. So remember pressing Control down to multiple select, I'm just going to drag these out a little bit drag select around these and move these out a little bit more. And what I'm also going to do, because we've kind of flattened the shape a bit there, is just stretch these out using the stretch tool. Just so we're keeping a, a similar kind of shape. What I might also do is just get these four sets of vertices and just move these in. And I'm just going to use the move tool just to move these down. Again, just to keep that shape a little bit. Let's just take the edges and Let's stretch those out as well. So you're just messing about with the geometry. You can obviously um, do whatever you want with this. What I'm going to do is actually lift these fins up a little bit as well. So I've got a bit of motion vertically as well as back to front on this uh, viewport. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select the end set of vertices. Remember there's a set underneath as well just there. So make sure to drag select quite an area around that. And then well, what we can do here actually, let's go into this view a little bit, is use soft selection. And soft selection, if I just click on use soft selection, uh, will allow me to control other vertices that I'm not actually got selected, depending on the distance between the vertices uh, from the ones you've actually selected yourselves. So I can just, just fall off on this to just where that's going. And let's just go ahead and try it about 25. So I'm going to click on move. You can see it's not really affecting it there, so let's just up this a little bit more. Let's move it around. We're going to be using soft selection a lot more when we actually come to uh, the front, when we come to doing the mouth shape. So again, just make sure in the top viewport that you've not lost too much of the shape in there. and that should be fine. So I'm going to click out of that. And what I'm going to do, just in the front view part, just scroll this out a bit. And I'm going to select the uh, first fish again, and then just shift drag that again, just to copy that across. And just move that a bit further on. And let's call this fish mouth move. To get them this view report, uh, zoom extent selected, which is down here in the right hand corner with a little white box, just brings the viewport more into line with this. If I want to do all the viewports in line with this, I can go to zoom extents all selection again, just with a little white box, and just bring this more into the viewports so I can see it a lot better. Let's go to the modifier stack, 
and let's switch on edge faces. So I'm going to click on F4. And let's just zoom into the fish. So what we're going to do here is just change this mouth shape a little bit, and uh, just ready for the morph shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and just tweak some vertices within here to make the mouth more open. Let's go down to Edible Poly, and let's just click on vertices. First of all, I'm going to select these two vertices, and just in the left from viewport, we're going to just kind of open those up a bit. Nice thing here is that I can see the original shapes behind, so we can kind of work out how we're, uh, we're deforming the mouth to the original shapes. So I'm going to select these vertices here. Let's move those up. I'm just going to move them up a little bit again away from the body as well. You tend to do when you're pursing your lips. What we can also do with this is let's just zoom around. I'm going to select four vertices on the corner of the mouth. And what I'm going to do is just get a scale tool and in front top uh, viewport just scale those in a little bit and that'll give more of a kind of pursed mouth effect if it's pouting a little bit. So yeah, happy with that. Obviously you can create as many morph shapes as you need. Uh, you just create another copy tweak the actual mesh, uh, remembering not to actually add any geometry to that, and there you've got your morph shape. So what I'm going to do now is just get ready to uh, go into the morph. So on the copies of the fish, we don't need any kind of excess um, modifiers on there, so I'm going to delete the modifiers from that stack, and the same with the other model that I'm going to use as a morph target. And then we'll click on the original fish, Let's click over to select, and uh, I'm just going to click on the UVW mapping gizmo, and we're going to add a modifier in there. So we're actually going to add on there, come up, is a morpher. Oh, that's just gone crazy. finally got there. It should be easy to find on yours, it's just uh, with me scratching the screen it goes weird a bit. So this is a morph for itself. Just close this down for a second. Let's have a proper look at this. So here are the different channels that you can actually load this in. So you can see it's up to a hundred range there. So you've got a hundred different morph shapes you can actually attach to this. And you should never need that many really. Uh, within a, an object itself. If you're going to do that much animation, you better do off doing it with bones. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually load in these two morph shapes onto this original fish. So to do that, we can do load multiple targets. I'm just going to drag select both of these and just click load. And they're actually uh, in the stack now. So let's just zoom in on this fish. The nice thing is just with this, you can just use the sliders. And I can just There you go. We have a weird thing happening there. Let's have a look at this. Yep. Show that in this viewport as well. So you get a little bit of movement up and down as well on that. So that can animate nice. It looks better when it's actually got mesh smooth on, but there you go, just for that animation. And we've also got the mouth moving as well. So we've got the fish moving its mouth. Another nice thing about the morph target, let's just zero this, is that you can actually go in, uh, I'm just going to global parameters, and I'm going to click off the use limits for this. And let's just go down. Now what we can do is actually go into minus figures within this, so we can actually, we've got a bit more animation on the morph shape. Uh, without you having to create extra morph shapes on there. Got to be careful that you don't go too far in because it will collapse on itself. But again on the positive value it can go a bit further out as well. Kind of stretch those fins a bit further. Same with the mouth. Got the normal movement but I can actually go above 100 and move that out even more. And I can come down 
mine his fingers and kind of close that into a weird sort of a grimmer shape. And you would be able to do that with each morph target as well. So, <coughs> excuse me. So what we can do now is just start animating some of this. So uh, easiest way to do this is click on Auto key and just uh, zero active channels. Just make sure everything's at zero first of all. And let's go through and let's start creating an animation. So let's say every uh, well, if we're working on 30 frames a second, every second he flaps his fins. Let's go about halfway through there. Uh, maybe a bit further, so about 13. What I'm going to do is animate the fins. I'm just going to move those forward. So move it a little bit further. And then let's go to 30. Now let's just type in 0 on the keyboard. I can carry on, I'm going to go to 43 and move this fin again it doesn't have to be the same amount, you can move it a bit differently and go to say 60 and again let's just dial that in so now you can see on the animation we've actually got a fin animating through over the keyframes same with the mouth So this time, what I generally want to do if you don't want to close the mouth before a certain amount of frames, so say we don't want to close it before frame 25, uh, frame 20 there, if I just take the time slider to frame 20, and what I'm going to do is just click down and then click up on the mount, on the uh, actual time slider, uh, not the time slider, the uh, picker there. What that allows us to do is just create a keyframe in there for this mouth, that, that morph shape just at that frame, and now when I go through, we can actually dial this in over the top of it. Let's dial that up. And let's just take this down. It's a bit more of a close shape. And then let's just zero that out. So they've got the fin animating, the mouth animating, and let's just put Turbo Smooth back on. Press F4 to toggle off edge faces. And then we've got simple animation just using more shapes. And that's it.